Hey, welcome back to Brad Fab Garage. Tonight, I'm going to try and get that out and get it on this. We've got the Camaro moved over out of the way, got the Pontiac shoved out of the way, so we've got some room to work now. And uh, that's the goal for tonight. All right, get a little working room here. We've got the front of this on some cheesy little dollies. Uh, so I'm going to try and slide it over here get it underneath the lift so we can pick it up and then manhandle that frame underneath it. Still trying to figure out exactly how I'm going to pick this up. I've got good supports and all underneath here now, so I can pull the doors open a little bit and uh, run it through there, or maybe do a uh, probably a 2x12 would be the best thing. Just run it through the cab and pick it up with a 2x12. So I think I know right where there's one at. Hey guys, one more quick thing. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I've only posted it in the last video that we did, uh, but we do have merch now. Um, <clears throat> I'll add a link to the uh, Shopify page, but you can go and now online and uh, get one of the first runs of the Brad Fab shirts. Uh, it is up there. Not too bad of a snazzy little logo. Yes, I do have a hoodie on. Uh, I have not ordered any of the hoodies yet. I got some for me and some family members and stuff like that. Um, but we are running uh, just a handful of these shirts. Uh, just to see how things go and then uh, as we go we'll come out with uh, several of the different designs but this is going to be the the original for right now so jump in there uh, get one ordered and we'll ship it to you thanks just like that two by twelve We have to try this a few times to find our balancing point, but I know I don't want to lift all my doors, so I'm going to need a two by four, a couple two by fours to get under there uh, on the roof supports. All right, let's see if this works. I need a little more than the two by four. I've got four by fours here somewhere. All right, I come up with some two by three. That was the old frame rails out of the Camaro when it was a uh, back half. So this should work. could be fun. <laughs> Looks like that's as high as it you know, high as it goes. All right, let's see if we can make this happen. I don't know if these dollies will do it or not. I might need to clamp them to the springs just to keep them in there. Get all the wheels pointed in the right direction. All right, let's see if it'll actually make its way under. All right, oh, oh. fair stretch. And whoa! 
too far. That might be really close. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Guess I'm glad I ate my Wheaties this morning. Okay, uh, let's try and bring them together. close on the back we might have to do a little trimming on the body like I said this is a uh, this is a 41 Chevy chassis and this is a 34 35 Chevy truck so they're not gonna be perfect but let's see what we can get down here okay so we're getting a little close here the body's just a little bit wider than that my floor pan it's coming in about right here. So I might just trim this up to the floor pan and across and I can get rid of all this rust. And that'll set the floor pan close to the body. Uh, and then we'll see what we get from there. Okay. The new floor structure is right. Get my gloves off. Can't do this. My new floor structure is right here all right about there and out there so let's connect the dots as crooked as this little truck is see if we can get a straight line right there And I'm going to drop down just a hair, just so uh, we have some to play with if we need to. There. Because we want this thing to sit as low as we can on this chassis. It would be nice to keep the thick chassis, but still get the cab all the way down under it. This thing plugged in and make a quick cut across there. See if we can get it low. Okay, now I'm just cutting probably probably an eighth inch below my line because uh, I would rather have a little bit to grind off than, uh, than hit my floor structure. So we're going to take this the rest of the way across and down.
Okay, I got that section cut off. Uh, the really good thing is, is I got rid of the rust. So, <laughs> I don't have to fix any rust back here. All right, let's set this thing down a little bit more. Down she goes. All right, now it sounds like the front might be touching. So let's go take a look at that and see. All right, looks like the front of the cab is touching the old body mounts right here. So I'm going to pull the frame forward enough to clear these because we do want to move this thing back far enough that the big block will go in here. So let's pull this thing forward a little bit. Let me go ahead and raise it back up a hair. All right. And let's come on forward. That is close. Ooh, about got myself in the head. It was really a lot easier to move that frame around than I thought it was going to be. Okay, so... That's going to be pretty close too on those corners. Let's go down a little bit. Okay, we are going to need to take a little bit off of these corners right here. All right, let's give ourselves, we've got plenty of room back here, so let's give ourselves about an inch because we don't, we don't have to have this super tight. So let's come out here, there, there, these gloves off again. There. Inch. Do the same thing on this side. All right, so we've got the cab <laughs> sitting on the chassis and I'm pretty happy with it so far. Um, the front of the cab is still up higher, about, about an inch more than the rear, but I kind of figured that because the original supports on the truck right here are about an inch lower than what the subframe for the floor would be. Um, so uh, we'll just go through and we'll put some, you know, when we rubber mount this thing, we'll have bushings in the back and some bushings in the front. Just to make it ride a little bit better i mean it's it is going to be a rat rod uh, but i want to be able to drive it and i want to be comfortable with it so um we will rubber mount everything um but man i'm liking this i got plenty of room that's kind of just kind of the guessing spot on where to fit it it's where the cab fits it the best but uh check that out i know it looks like a lot of room up here but you gotta remember we're going with a big block uh, I've got some options because I've got several motors over there in the floor underneath the uh, the pallet jacks. So, but um, I will be real happy if it sits here just like that. Um, that gives me a lot of room, and the back side of it really. I thought I was going to have to bob this thing back a little bit, but um, I'm pretty happy with this. This has a spring hangers right at the back of the cab, uh, and that's. Uh, that doesn't need to be any shorter than that or anything. I mean, that's, if anything, I'll pull the axle back a little bit. Um, if I have to, I'll, I'll cut the back of this off and redo it, but I'm really happy with that so far. Um, I've got a, I don't know, it's probably a five foot bed. I don't think they're really a full, a full six foot bed, but I have a, a probably a Ford bed. Uh, I can't find any, anything on it. I'll show some pictures of it and you guys can tell me if you think it's a Ford 
or a Chevy or a Dodge or what that bed is. I'll throw a picture on here um, and uh, you guys tell me what it is because I don't know all the old trucks very well. I've done from 1950 and up. This is going to be my the oldest one I've done so far. So I'm still learning these trucks. And any of my old truck guys that are out there uh, that have dealt with these old Chevys, but this, this is the driver's side A-pillar. This is where I need some help from you guys. This is what goes uh, right here on this side. My problem is I only have this one. I do not have one for the passenger side. So if anybody out there in YouTube land has an old truck and has a passenger side one of these, I need that. Um, I'm probably going to, I'm probably going to chop this truck just because it needs to be chopped. So, and I need that before I do anything. So I would like to take about four inches out of this thing, give it a mean, nice little stance and um really make it slick looking i've even thought about maybe tilting the hood down or the, the the roof down just a little bit to give it an angry look but i don't know i don't know how crazy i'm going to get with it so this is a project in the making i have no plans there is nothing on my dry erase board over there that says exactly how this is going but um we just know it's going to be cool when it's done so all right guys well this is about all i'm going to do this evening um we have got family coming into town i'm going to try and get some more stuff done on this over the weekend um but i've got a few other chores to take care of too so i will be back on this shortly i promise see you bye morning guys welcome back to brad fab garage uh we just got the cab sitting on the frame uh next order of business is to uh, pull out one of the big blocks and uh just kind of mock up what we're wanting to do with this thing um we know uh what we want but we've got to make it all fit now so the first order of business i have to clean out this corner of my shop i've already been moving motorcycle parts and all that kind of stuff um we have got to get that 454 out which is a good running engine and yes that is a hemi uh but that's the motor i want to use in this one and that believe it or not is the very first thing i put in the shop whenever i moved into this building so um so it's the hardest one to get to right now so i've got all this stuff shuffled around move all this junk out of the way um i've got to move those two turbo four uh, the 4l60 i'm sorry the 4l80 before somebody corrects me and the uh pontiac 400 my gm 400 which we're going to use is on the shelf there so i have to manhandle that thing down and um try and get all of this <laughs> pulled out of the corner the deepest corner in the shop so all right time to get started So as far as that's going to get right now. What a pain. All right, now that I've got it up underneath the rack, uh, <laughs> which is a chore, let's get this thing strung up straight here so we can uh, work with it a little better. This motor came out of a truck I bought at a uh, estate auction. I bought three trucks that were all 454, 81 and older. 
and uh, I bought them all for the big blocks and uh, one of them had a turbo 400 in it so I think I paid $700 for all three trucks and got three running big blocks this is a propane motor you can tell it's in its original state <laughs> um, but this one runs really good and uh, and has almost 50 pounds of oil pressure cold so this is a really good running engine even though it looks like it's been laying in the dirt so it's got some cleanup to do for sure Little frame went, oh! Of course, we won't be using the exhaust manifolds. We'll have some light pipe or something built for it. We're halfway centered. Okay, we obviously are not even straight here. This, uh, the old cross member, I guess the, uh, the six cylinder favored this way, so that original cross member down there, which will come out, is just what we're setting on now. Um, and this is just to look at things. I need to set the old core support up in here and check our front to back and make sure we have plenty of room for fans, all that kind of stuff. Because with this big block, we're gonna need a decent radiator. So, that's next. It is Christmas weekend, and um, the weather has kind of thrown a, a monkey wrench in my plans for this Saturday, and that was uh, getting this thing power washed and cleaned, which is asking a lot. It is the end of December, and uh, our weather can go from zero degrees to 70 in about two days. So, But today, this is not going to happen. We are going to have to postpone cleaning this motor and the transmission so that we can uh, try and mock everything up and uh, just make things look a little better and see what kind of game plan we're going to have. Uh, but I have a few other problems I want to address too. This cab has a bit of an elevation issue. Um, I did put a, a substructure in the floor and um, I just don't know if it's going to set low enough for my liking. Um, I would like the cab to set a little bit lower and this chassis, being a truck chassis, is about six inches thick. Uh, I think the car chassis were only about four inches thick on some of them. So this thing is sitting a little bit taller and I just don't have everything I need yet to see how I'm going to set this thing on the ground. So we've got a lot more parts collecting to do in the meantime. Um, I still need to get a rear end for this thing. I'll probably will find a, uh, just a simple nine inch um, and throw it in the back of this thing and probably have to do a three link on the rear. The springs that are on it are pretty stiff because they were a truck frame and um, I don't think those are going to work for us but um, we may have to work on dropping this cab some more so uh, let's get some uh, some ideas here try and get this big boy out of the way stay okay so Altitude issues. This truck doesn't look bad, but I just I just think it needs to go even lower on this chassis than what it is. But this thing sitting halfway level, it doesn't look bad. Um, I do have the running boards for this truck, and I also have front fenders for it. So I'm kind of debating about maybe trying to set the running boards on it and put the fenders on it and see how they match up with this frame. Um, I don't know. Just like any jigsaw puzzle, you know, all your pieces have got to line up right the first time or it's going to throw things off a little bit. And uh, none of us like having to recut and re-weld and rebuild everything all over again. Um, you know, and that's the fun thing about rat rods. You change your mind, you change your mind, no big deal. But I kind of like the idea of having the fenders on the front. 
has nice big round fenders and uh it'd be kind of cool has some uh fenders laid out with some zoomies going across them or something like that we may have to try it and see well i think our next uh thing in uh in line that we need to get picked up is we need to find a rear end i may have to just make a salvage yard run and go get a nine inch out of a truck or something like that uh mainly so that i can uh, get this thing mobile and uh get it off of my lift uh because i do have a few other projects that do need to be dealt with also um always projects there's never just one thing to work on there's always about eight or ten of them so but anyway remember to go in like and subscribe and uh we'll keep this stuff coming a little bit at a time this was a busy weekend with the holidays and stuff like that but uh, we're back in gear now so but remember to go in like and subscribe and we'll keep the things rolling your way uh, i do want to say hi to everybody in australian uh, australia uh new zealand iceland and the netherlands were were uh were a lot of people watching last weekend on that one so but anyway we'll see you guys next time we're out bye